What an atmosphere here today at CBC. We have an overcast weather. They're going to make a good day for hockey. A great atmosphere here today at CBC as Veritas Curry Springs start with the ball and CBC Blue to pick sides. And that is how we start the game today. Oh, scrumptious ball in there. Just a missed timing there by Luis Gomez, the CBC Bolero midfielder. Virtus College continue to drive forward. He'll be looking to send it in now. And no, he doesn't. He shoots. What a save. The ball seems to be stuck in the goalkeeper's footing. And we have a short corner, the first one of the game here for CBC Bolero. And a fairly even challenge it has been for both teams. That's Prene Dyer on the ball looking to make a pass. He sees Saxon Pitikin down the midfield. And that is time, ladies and gentlemen, for the first quarter of this game here at CBC. The score's 0-0. Zero, zero. And welcome back to the start of the second quarter here. We are tied 0-0 zero, zero as what has started off as a good contention between CBC Bolero and College Veritas College Springs. The CBC skipper to take the long corner, of course. He sends it wide as it goes to Alex Ndlovu, who sends it in. Oh! And we have an issue here as Alex tries to send the ball in and hits one of the British College players. The center. Position is lost and it goes back to Alex. Can he shoot? And that is 1-0. Goal scorer Alex Ndlovu. And that is CBC Bolero first. And that is the end of the second quarter. The scores being one to CBC Bolero and Veritas College zero. And we're back here in the second half of the game. Teams have switched sides. And it is currently 1-0 in favor of CBC Bolero. What can Veritas College do here to get an equalizer and come back into this game? CBC Bolero starting with the ball here. And this is our third quarter. He flicks it again and this time received by Saxon Petiken who looks up and makes a pass down the center of the field to Ryan Winterbull. The end leads to nothing and is recycled by the CBC Bolero team. The captain here dispossessed by the Veritas College number 10 who tries to initiate a quick counter attack and is quickly smothered out. Anthony Glowitzki on the ball here and makes a pass down the left side to Luis Gomez. Again, CBC Blur trying to penetrate that D and make something of it. And here's a foot now, and that is a good play there by CBC Blur as they try to get the foul. Another turnover as it goes, and this is a foul against CBC Blur. The number 10 for Veritas College to take it again, and he flakes it. And this looks like the end of the third quarter. The score is still remaining 1-0 to CBC Bolero. And here we go in the last and final quarter of the day. CBC Bolero taking on Veritas College Springs. The scores are 1-0 to CBC Bolero. Can Veritas College here dig deep to get an equalizer? Or will CBC Blair go on to win this game? Oh, 
it looks like the skipper tried to play advantage there and is denied as he has to stop the ball first before playing just under five minutes left in this game and it looks like an end-to-end -end game here full of action both teams pushing to get that final goal CBC trying to look for the second one to kill the game and Veritas College looking for that one goal to equalize the game at one all. Oh, it looks like we have another downed player from Veritas College. A miscue shot and it must have landed in his leg. The medics are being called on site now. Dispossessed by Lewis Gomez, the number six. He seems to be hurt here. Play is not being stopped. Oh, now it is. Just to see if he needs any medical attention. Fatigue starting to set in on both teams here as we reach the dying minutes of the game. He drills it through the center and it's easily intercepted there by the skipper who looks to send it wide to Rowan Conson. A miscue there but nonetheless sent to Alex Lov who tries to send it in. And it's a foul for him and he goes and continues. Oh, referee has stopped the game, no advantage. And that is game ladies and gentlemen here at CBC Bloyo. The score ends 1-0 to CBC Bloyo.